So our original plan was to stay in Mexico for a full three months before going back to the United States for a friend's wedding. But with COVID picking up and things being closed and things getting kind of like crazy. And then, I don't know, where we stayed in Mexico wasn't really our vibe. So we decided that it would be better if we went to a location that had a little more nature. So today we're off to catch a flight to Costa Rica. Uh, we have to head to the airport about four hours early because of extra COVID checks and stuff. And then before you go to Costa Rica, at least right now, uh, you either have to show a proof of vaccination or you have to have a Costa Rican travel insurance in case you get sick during your stay there and they will not let you in the country if you don't have either of those. Uh, fortunately, we have both. I already did the paperwork and you get a little printout with a health sheet and a little QR code. So we're all ready for that. And we gotta go catch a taxi and head to the airport. So we're nice and early, but it works out perfect because it's our checkout time right now anyways. That taxi is terrifying. Cancun Airport. Apparently you need to fill some sort of a form. Didn't get the memo on that. General security here is actually painless. Wasn't too bad at all. It seems like they weren't actually checking. Yeah, I don't know if they're actually checking. Is that an Avion? We have only a bottle of water. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's an airport. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, it's fine. <laughs> Gracias. They always get you with the, you know, like the $4 water bottles. Yeah. <laughs> In Mexico, they do that a lot. Today, we have about three and a half hours before our flight's supposed to depart. I'm a little worried because we haven't passed through any sort of immigrations, and I know you're supposed to. I don't know. And I've asked three people about this little, there's a little ticket you get when you enter Mexico that you're supposed to surrender and get stamped when you leave. So. This is empty, the front part, try not to show all my information off. The front part has a stamp. We're gonna hope we don't need it and hope we're here early enough to figure this out because this is stressing me out a little bit. This is driving me nuts. I'm so afraid they're gonna be like, oh, actually you needed that. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm terrified. I know. <laughs> Turns out they just do like a check right at the gate they just called us up let us on so two hour flight shouldn't be too bad we made it <laughs> now i just have to get past immigrations should be fun it's always always blessed Cute. I love that little adventure slot. That is adorable. See, that's it. Oh, oh, Profina. Uh, I only have pesos. Yeah, no, no tango dinero. <laughs> oh, lo siento. I feel bad now. I didn't even think about that. I mean, he kind of brought it on himself, just like grabbing our bags without asking. Oh, he probably did that on purpose. Yep. Got it. Poquito. Primera vez en Costa Rica. Sí. Vamos a Arena mañana. Sí. Es bueno. Ya tienen transporte para el Arena. Sí. Rent a car. Ah, rent a car. Sí. Tomorrow we're going to be renting a car, but you're not supposed to drive in Costa Rica at nighttime. It's supposed to be kind of sketchy. So we just didn't want to deal with that after a long travel day and all that good stuff. So uh, we decided to stay at the hotels near the airport and most of them have shuttles. So you get a free ride there. We have to find one back tomorrow. It's so free. Yeah. 
We might actually have to take them up on that Denny's deal because they give us a coupon for it. I know. I'm <laughs> I like their pancakes. <laughs> it's a sign. It is literally a sign. It's a billboard. <laughs> that does look pretty good. Yeah, their pancakes are good. That's what I'm saying. Smells. Telly. A, bit, a little moister, maybe? Can you drink the water here? Uh, we can ask. I don't know if it's potable or not. Ah, this is the Holiday Inn Express in, I think it's called Alajuera. And it is in the nicer part of San Jose. I don't know, if you're a foreigner, San Jose is not supposed to be a very safe city. So we just skipped it. How's the bed? Oh, it's great. It's so soft. It's like nicely firm. Are you so excited to get Denny's? Uh, yeah. There were limited food options, okay? I know this is the exotic content you guys come here for. <laughs> There's just so much wildlife you can already hear. They're all up in the trees. And the build quality, man. Yeah, the water is potable. I asked the hotel staff and she was like, uh, yeah. Not realizing we'd been like drinking out of buckets for <laughs> months now. Over in that direction, across from the hotel. Can't see it on this camera because it's just not the right type of camera for that. But there's just these beautiful mountains. It's, oh, it's beautiful. I'm so excited. Watch my wife react to Costa Rica money. <laughs> Yeah, when I saw the money, I, I squealed in excitement because there are slots on it. How cool is that? Can you say it like a British person? <laughs> it's really beautiful. I would say this is probably the prettiest money we've had. But you do look like a baller here. Yeah, I know. I mean, 10 millionaire tonight. Well, they're, they're not mill, and Spanish mill is a thousand. Damn. All right, we're gonna go to bed now. I wasn't planning on recording my coffee adventure this morning, but I've never actually seen this before. It makes four types of coffee, it comes with the filter built in. Nail clippers that come in, in a pinch. All right, that's pretty darn convenient. Uh, we didn't end up sleeping too well because the couple next door was screaming at each other till like 1 a.m. And bright and early, at 6 a.m. It's the uh, airport runway right there. And uh, we got to listen to airplanes taking off all morning. You're welcome. Good morning. Thank you. So we just got here to pick up our car reservation for the month. Thank you. <laughs> Gracias. Let's go. Okay. You're not gonna drive? He got his driver's license stolen when we were in Mexico. Oh. Last month, <laughs> somebody got his wallet. <laughs> That's a good deal here, huh? <laughs> yeah. In Costa Rica, a lot of people think there's this scam. It's not a scam, but you have to buy a Costa Rican uh, car insurance. You can opt out of the like collision damage type of insurance if your like credit card company covers it. If you do decide to do that, make sure you bring proof of that. And then you have to buy the Costa Rican liability insurance. There's no getting out of it. So if the prices look cheaper than they are, that's why they're not scamming you. It's just how it is. And some will fight you on the credit card insurance, but some won't. So bring it, just be ready. Let's get on the road. Oh my God. Oh. I'm a little bit nervous to be driving in Costa Rica. It's supposed to be a little bit lawless. Some of the roads aren't best kept and, you know, pedestrians run out, animals, all sorts of stuff. Don't forget the weather. Yeah, and the weather. Um, a lot of the roads get washed out apparently. Can't be any harder than driving on the wrong side of the road, right? <laughs> right? The roads are in great condition. I've seen worse roads in California. Yeah, like this is as good as any road in the United States. This is one of the like rest areas you can stop at and it's 
looked so beautiful. But if you want to see just a quick two rooms. Oh, yeah. nice. And our hot water is one of those super sketchy built into the. Nice. Yeah. Gotta love the uh, lax safety rules in countries like this. Right now, I'm gonna unpack and stuff. This is La Fortuna. It's a small town of about 14,000 people. Oh, and it's like a really tourist friendly town. So if you're coming to like the Arenal, Monteverde, La Fortuna area, it's a great spot. We just happened to stumble by some sort of event going on in the park. I'm so stoked. This is cool. They're playing music. Looks like they have like a dancers and color guard. Pretty cool. I, I wonder what sort of event this is for. The weather changed rapidly, but we made it to our first uh, restaurant. I guess they're called sodas here. Soda. I'm thinking I'm going to order a asado, which is like a typical Costa Rican dish. Grass is Wonderful, thank you. So this is a cassado, like a typical Costa Rican plate dish. Okay. I'm sure you guys are here to taste it. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's really good. Fucking great. My turn. Like, it's a plant. For sure, and it has a planty aftertaste. It kind of tastes like eggs. <laughs> no idea what it is. <laughs> no idea. Man, that was some seriously delicious food. I know, I was so impressed with that. And that was just someone we just kind of bumbled into. Grocery shopping abroad, especially when you just get somewhere, is legit one of my favorite things to do. I know that probably sounds a little bit weird, but I just love seeing all the different stuff they have. Like, some places have like stuff unique to the area, or I don't know, just products you've never seen, candies, like all sorts of stuff. I'm clearly excited about it because I can't organize my thoughts. How cute are these coffees? Oh my goodness. This one's my favorite. Like this is so cute. Sliced guava paste. I've never seen that. And guava jam, no way. We totally have to have pancakes with guava jam. Literally on the walk home from the grocery store, we saw these two tourists and they're poking at this fence and they're like, there's two of these over here. So we walk over, ask them what they see. It's a poisoned strawberry dart frog, those little red ones. Yeah, but it was so cool. I'm kind of geeking out over that. You ready? Yeah. Finally got all settled in. Alan just read that at the very end of the street that we're staying on is a nature preserve. And right now it's right about evening time. So we're gonna go see if we can find any animals before the preserve closes. We just saw two toucans. Two toucans. Two toucans. Two toucans. 